Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today we are bringing you a very special video. We got to see a lot of amazing things at CES and a lot of it dealt with smart home technology. Well, we actually got to visit a perfect smart home in my opinion. This is the KB Project from KB Homes and KB Homes is a company that basically does a lots of different home building throughout the across the US. I'll leave a link in the description. They might be in your city and they really specialize in making really great looking homes but also more energy efficient homes. It saves you on your utility bills and your cost of living actually decrease because you live in one of their homes compared to the regular home that you could move into at any given time, which of course appealed to me because I plan on moving into a new home this year. Now, when we got here, this looked absolutely amazing, of course. The outside looked amazing, the architecture looked great, and I really liked the idea of a smart home. And when I walked in, this was truly a smart home. Yes, you had the smart doorbell as soon as you came in, but really it was when you came in and gave a command that it just seamlessly integrated with Google Home. And it was really awesome because with one voice, you could do exactly what I've always envisioned, and that is turning the lights on to a certain brightness, having the ability to have the AC in different temperatures in different rooms, and of course, having the blinds open up, having a TV turn on, everything with just one voice command, and it was just seamless and perfect. This also has a really cool thing called the Darwin program, which basically powers the brain of the home, and really it allows you to look over each climate in your home, make sure that there's no bad things in the air and uh, filter them out if need be. So it's really great just how it all works seamlessly together. Then extending to the smart lights and thermostat, which the smart lights are really smart in the sense that you can not only change the temperature of it, but it auto senses what time of day it is and it works with that to automatically get it to the right temperature. The thermostat can be programmed in many different ways. So when you leave, it turns off. All these kind of really cool things that you expect in a smart home, but it's really impressive seeing it in action. These lights also change upon the day of time. So if it knows you're getting ready to go to bed, it will dim the lights to that part. And again, the curtains will close. All of these things happen just so perfectly and seamlessly, just how I've always envisioned it. And it was really cool being in a smart home that's truly the smart home. Now, this also goes through, again, different times of day. So if it knows if you're going to sleep, if you're waking up, it will brighten or darken the lights to the perfect temperature, again, based on it knowing what time of day it is. Even the shower is customizable. You have a his and her settings, so you can actually have one person have an overhead shower, and another person might have a side shower or different temperature of water that they like. So having these custom built settings is just really and truly amazing. It's all powered by these two Tesla power walls and really it's just really nice that you're off the grid, you have solar panels, you have all these things conserving your energy so that you're off the grid uh, and it's really impressive to have that kind of ability. But they have some really subtle things that I had never seen before as well, such as Whirlpool Oven and another program working together to actually say, hey, this is what's in your fridge. So let's set the right temperature and have the right recipe time for it to turn on the oven, preheat the oven and stop the oven when it's done. This is a really cool concept that it's just more so more practical than just having a screen on your fridge that a lot of other companies do. Not only that, but you have precision commands with even things like the water faucet. So if you only need a certain amount of water for a certain recipe or anything that you don't want to overfill it and your hands are full, well, it's very easy just to do one-handed, do a specific amount of water just with your voice. And that's a really cool feature. Then you get to the modular part of this home. See, if you want to have a bigger dance floor for a party because you have a gathering, well, then just move the wall. Yes, you can actually move an entire wall that creates a much bigger living space and behind that wall, you had an office desk that could stay out. And when you move the wall back, you can have a Murphy bed come out and really just have a entire bedroom when you need it. So it's really cool how you can adapt to that. Even the second floor is completely separate. So you can actually say, rent out the second floor. If you are parents that have had your kids move on and you no longer need the second floor, it's completely independent, has its own kitchen area, has its own living room, has everything you need in the second part of the home. Or 
it's definitely something that as a parent I could definitely see really great for you know kids as they grow up and they want their own kind of independence they can then come through the other door and just have that beautiful separation between the two and even those rooms are modular I saw one of the rooms again moved up the bed and into a desk so it's really kind of cool just having more space because your home is modular and all these different things can lead to having more space, bigger space in your homes. Not only that, but you also have an indoor garden, which basically I know my wife will love because she loves the idea of having plants that she has right then and there. It's so intelligent that these plants actually feed in to your central air system. So gain that fresh air right throughout your house. And that kind of design is just so intuitive that I really just love it. Then you have an amazing outside, which has these really cool sliding doors were just really great to the outside. And they explained how basically, again, everything in here is to conserve the energy in the house so you don't have to exhaust that much energy. So they were really impressive on how they did it. And then the outside was absolutely beautiful. Uh, just a beautiful waterfall. You had a nice jacuzzi. You had the barbecue area, seating area, all these different things. It, it's just seamless that you could have an outside party to an inside party. And it's just really amazing how this all came together through modularity and through a smart home technology. It really was something to see a true smart home all put together and kind of seeing it for the first time of how we envision smart homes to be not now, but if you're buying a home, you're buying it for generally a 15 to 30 year period, then you expect technology to adapt from that 15 to 30 year period. This was really an amazing sight to behold. We were in the Las Vegas area for this home, but again, they have so many others in Los Angeles. They have a few that I was even looking at, and it's really quite impressive to see a company take smart home technology to bring everything together and to see how they do it. Let me know what you guys think of this experience. Let me know what you guys think about KB Homes. Would you want us to cover more of their new homes that they have uh, here in Los Angeles? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're going to find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.